Hi, thought I'd uh, do a little talk about the Russian Spetsnaz machete. Uh, this was a gift actually from uh, Mikhail Ryabko, who's a Russian martial artist, the master from Russia. Um, I don't have an overall measurement, but you can get a pretty good idea just looking at it. Some of the features it has, it has a saw blade on top for cutting wood. It's got a digging edge here, so you would actually, you could use it like a shovel. But I would recommend probably wearing gloves for the hand holding near the blade. Uh, this edge here is meant for chopping. Just like a regular machete or say a small hatchet. It's got a carving edge here for doing any sort of whittling work. And I don't know how well you can see it, but up here there's small cuts made in the blade itself on this recurve. And that is actually meant for sawing bone, for making bone tools and things like that. As well, it's got a large opening on the blade itself, and that's actually meant to put a, uh, a half inch piece of rope through. And then believe it or not, by tying a knot in the rope, you can actually throw the machete over a vertical wall and it will actually stay in place and act like a grappling hook with the rope coming over the wall and you can actually use it to climb a wall with. The smaller opening is an arrow sizing hole for making primitive arrows. There's also a ruler in centimeters, 0 to 15 centimeters on the face of the blade as well as a protractor 0 to 90 degrees and you can use that for so many different things. You can use that for determining the width of a river, the height of an object. Uh, if you want to cut down a tree, you could sight in at the top of the tree and if you're at a 45 degree angle, then where you're standing is exactly, from where you stand to the base of the tree is exactly the height of the tree. And uh, how you use the protractor, this flat spot on top, that's the actual sight. And you can use a piece of string with a weight on it or you could use a piece of wire like I'm going to do. There's a small hole to put the, uh, the string or the wire through. And then using that sight, if I'm sighting in on something, I can wait for this to settle a little bit. It's really windy today, but once it settles, I can just pinch it, flip it, and read it, and it read 47 degrees. So I was holding the tool at 47 degrees. Um, it's a neat little knife machete tool. It's got a Bakelite handle, and the Russians are famous for all their, all their, uh, a lot of their weapons all had Bakelite on them. Their bayonets did. It's got this uh, tool on the end here. It's like a large slot screwdriver, and then it's got like uh, a sewing push all for punching leather, as well as a little storage compartment, and. Rumor has it, but I don't know whether it's true, but I suppose in a pinch you could do it. But if you have two of these, and you're on a mission, you can actually use that spike for to help you aid you in uh, ice climbing, or in climbing up a tree. You take two of them and go on either side and use them to pull yourself up. Overall, I haven't actually, because it was a gift, I haven't had the... Uh, the nerve yet to put it through a good beating, but probably very soon I'll, I'll do this, that, and I'll probably report back on how well it worked out. It's Russian, so obviously it's it's going to be built tough. Most things Russian are very tough, simple to use. Handle's comfortable, even though it's a large rectangle of Bakelite. It's a very comfortable handle, and uh, it's small enough to be really effective and not too heavy. The only drawback is, for some reason, they are never issued with a sheath. So you would have to make your own sheath if you ever are able to get one of these. Thanks very much.